Hi, I'm Jeff with Blackout Lighting Console and welcome to my new studio. People ask me all the time what devices to buy to connect Blackout to their lights and Exilux has a couple great options. Today we're taking a look at their Connect One and Connect Plus DMX gateways. Three, two, one. Here we go! Sometimes you just need something simple and quick to deploy, and the Connect One is just that. It's an ArtNet node with built-in 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, meaning you can connect directly to this gateway from your iPad and be controlling your fixtures in no time. It really doesn't get much simpler than this. The Connect One has incredible flexibility when it comes to powering it because it can take both AC and DC power. Plug it into your standard 120 or 240 volt outlet or inject it anywhere from 5 to 24 volts DC, which pretty much covers the gamut. The starter kit comes with both a USB and DTAP cable for ultimate flexibility. Once you've chosen your method of power, cable to your lights or to a wireless transmitter such as their Connect TX100, and now you have a nice base station for your data. Or throw it on one of your lights in your set. The Connect One also has a web configuration utility in case you need to adjust a universe setting, but this is good to go out of the box. The Connect One would be a great tool for those running small sets who are just getting into lighting networks because it's simple plug and play operation and Exilux doesn't really give you any settings you can mess up, so there should be no fear for those novice users in getting up and running without having to worry about IP addresses and such. Now, because it's for those novice users, it obviously doesn't have the configuration advanced users would want, like the ability to adjust the Wi-Fi channel in case you experience interference with other devices around you, or the ability to client into an existing wireless lighting network. It actually doesn't even have an ethernet port, which is unfortunately limiting for those users who are hoping to add this to an existing wired lighting network, like on a stage. So you're kind of stuck with what it offers you, but again, it's perfect for those who are just looking for that super simple, reliable solution. Now where the Connect One falls short for those advanced users, the Connect Plus really shines through. Exilux flagship gateway has a lot more features, including dual band Wi-Fi, two DMX ports, a two port ethernet switch, and again, multiple power options with its five to 28 volt DC input range. You can slap a V-Lock battery directly on the unit, power it with an AC adapter, a 5 volt DTAP or USB cable, or even PoE, which is perfect for adding this to an existing wired network. The onboard LCD has a little haptic feedback, which is a nice touch when scrolling through the options, and the front display makes the device easily configurable. You can change what it's listening to, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, what band you want to broadcast, what channel, and what universes you want outputting on the two DMX ports on the back. Now this does only do ArtNet at the moment, which is unfortunate because most lighting networks seem to be migrating to SACN, but Exilux says it's coming in a future update along with RDM, which is an option, just not selectable in the current firmware. Now there's a few surprising features on this as well, one of which is a DMX recorder and player. So you could record a look or multiple looks playing back from a console and then play them back from the device. I'd really like them to implement a loop function in playback so that if you had some changing Christmas lights or something going in a small section of a set, you could leave this unit to control that on a loop throughout a scene, which would be pretty handy. The other cool feature is POD, power over DMX. Yeah, that's right. Why is this not a standard everywhere? This is the coolest thing because you can both power and send DMX to something with just one cable. You're not gonna be powering big lights with this, but for a transmitter like the TX100N, it's perfect. If you're wondering how this works, DMX actually only uses three pins, which is why we have three pin DMX in addition to five pin. So pins four and five have the ability to carry power, but usually they're not hooked up to anything, which is such a waste. So it's super cool to see Exilux take on this new feature, which I really hope catches on. There is one more mysterious connector on the bottom, and Exilux assures me it's for some cool upcoming products where you'll be able to dock this on something. So we'll see what they have in mind, but overall, it's a great unit. I would have really liked to have seen a CRMX transmitter built in because we've seen this with the Rat Pack AKS and other such units, 
but Xlux says that they have a high performance Wi-Fi chip in it and with all Wi-Fi chips, they can cause interference with other RF equipment in such close range. So the best practice is to separate the two transmitters physically, which is why they don't have it built in. And with power over DMX, it makes it easy to put the base station in a nice central location where you'll be operating from and the transmitter closer to set where all of your lights are playing. Now, when connecting Blackout to the Connect Plus, once you've connected the iPad to its Wi-Fi, go into your ArtNet settings and switch this over to Unicast and type in the IP of the router, which we currently have set to 192.168.1.1, and you're good to go. In any case, check out the Exilux Connect series for some great hardware options for your lighting network with Blackout. If you like this video, give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more.